Welcome to the Sports Science Hub's guide to everything you need to know about the fundamentals of skill acquisition and motor learning. We will help you understand the different types of skills, the difference between open and closed loop theories, and how we learn. Let's get started. Skills are the learned ability to bring about predetermined results with maximum certainty, often with the minimum outlay of time and or energy. There are three primary features of a skill. Perception is understanding the relevant environmental variables and situations. Decision making is deciding what to do, when to do it and where to do it. And activity production, which is producing organised muscular activity to generate the appropriate movement. There are different continuums relating to different types of skills. The movement precision continuum deals with fine skills, which are coordinated small movements, such as throwing a dart, and gross skills, which are large dynamic movements, such as a butterfly stroke. The movement continuity continuum deals with continuous skills, which are repeated movements, such as cycling, and Discrete skills, which have a defined start and finish, such as a backflip. The pace control continuum deals with internal skills, which are self-paced, such as a long jump, and external skills, which are controlled by other factors, such as a rugby pass. And the environmental effect continuum. Open skills, which are unpredictable, such as a football pass and closed skills, which are predictable, such as a javelin throw. Motor programs are a sequence of movements stored in the long-term memory to perform a movement. Open loop theories are developed for ballistic movements, such as a tennis serve. Intrinsic feedback does not occur until after the skill has been completed. Whereas closed loop theories work for slow and simple movements that provide continuous intrinsic feedback, such as snowboarder traveling down a slope. Schema theory suggests motor programs are changeable and adapt to each situation. To perform a skill, we need three things. A generalized motor program, which is the ability to perform a basic skill, such as catching a ball, a recall schema, which makes adjustments to the generalized motor program after understanding the situation you are in and your intentions, such as your opponent's position. And a recognition schema that lets you know the result of the skill through movement outcomes and sensory consequences. As we learn, we go through different phases of learning. The cognitive or understanding phase has inconsistent results and still rely on coaching cues. The associative or practice phase has more consistent results with more complex elements requiring more work. And the autonomous phase, which produces consistent and fluid performances. The correct motor programs are stored in the long-term memory. There are a number of key theories on learning. Apparent conditioning is the correct response to the situation or task being rewarded through positive reinforcement, negative reinforcement, or punishment. Observational learning is learning through observing others by creating a mental picture of skilled movement, learning through demonstration, or copying a role model. This is done via four stages, attention, retention, motor production, and motivation. And trial and error, which is testing various methods until the desired goal is finally reached. Your ability to learn can be influenced by feedback. Intrinsic feedback comes from within the athlete, for example, how a shot felt. Extrinsic feedback comes from a source other than the athlete, such as a coach. This can be broken down further into 
knowledge of results, which comes from feedback as a result of the consequences of a performance, such as winning or losing, and knowledge of performance, which comes from feedback relating to the way a skill was performed, such as through video analysis. Terminal feedback comes from feedback given at the end of a skill, and concurrent feedback, which comes from feedback given during a skill or performance. Thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, then please help others find our videos and hit the like button below and subscribe to our channel now. You can also find us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Don't forget to also visit our website www.sportsciencehub.com for more videos on everything you need to know about sports science. See you soon.